coverage you can count on continues. At first glance, it seems to stand against everything we're told. Texting and driving do not mix. But a group of students in Cumberland County is putting the two together with some award-winning results. News Age Cumberland County reporter Matt Barcaro has their story. Inventions inherently are a different take on a familiar concept. You have to go get a wrench for on the back of those nuts. Uh... But in this case... It was a lot simpler than we thought, and we got a pretty good end result. It's one that really makes you rubberneck. And we were just like, why don't we try to start a car? But not before tossing a major rule of the road out the window. Nine students at the Cumberland Perry Area Votex School found a way to encourage texting to get a car to drive. Headlights and taillights on. And I could just reply and tell them to turn off. By sending the car a text, it can honk the horn, turn on and off lights, and start the engine, all before you even open the door. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> An impressive feat for 16 and 17-year-olds who just got their driver's licenses, and one... No. ...who hasn't gotten his yet. The car won first place at a nationwide contest, and that would have been accomplishment enough, but then the students found out they also won a trip to Germany. An all-expenses-paid trip where they'll be showing off their car at the world's largest industrial trade fair. It's the biggest thing, like, I've ever done. And these high schoolers may be on to something. Yeah, I hope to see this uh, in a car in the next couple years or so. I hope to be able to text my car and have it do whatever. Anything's possible. After all, they can't drive it down the street, but somehow this car is taking them all the way to Germany. In Silver Spring Township, Matt Barcaro, News 8. And once the engines, the vehicle's engines turned on, texting is not needed. It runs like a regular car and uses biodiesel. Wow, perfect.